Oh god, that's loud for me. Hang on. <sighs> what is going on, guys? This is Uncle Leader Jesse here at the game. I have wanted to play for about eight years, even though it's only been out for four. <laughs> this is Pokemon Phoenix Rising. This is um, a game that began development, I believe, all the way back in 2014. Uh, it was supposed to be an episodic game. Uh, episode 1 released in 2018. Most of the team ended up leaving after that shortly. Um, but in 2019, uh, some new people had joined to supposedly start working on episode 2. But we haven't heard anything since August of 2019, meaning it has been well over three years without hearing anything. I was going to wait till the game was completely finished to play it, but I decided against it. This is obviously a fan game. This is not an official game. Uh, this is for PC. Uh, I haven't played any RPG Maker fan games, honestly. I've only played um, ROM Hacks fan games, but I have... Yeah. So this will be like a totally new experience for me. And I cannot wait to get into this. Okay. Um... I don't know. Do I click on it? Oh, arrow keys. Okay. Uh, options. Tech speed fast. Um, Fahrenheit. Celsius probably. Celsius is probably better, but um, that's just how how I know temperature. So I'm going Fahrenheit. Um, so let's do game one. We're gonna do. We're not gonna do Nuzlocke mode because I haven't even played the game yet. So we're gonna just do a new game. We've already got two Nuzlocks running on the channel. So let's play as a fan-made Pokemon creation, educated part-time volunteer, non-professional game developers and artists. This game is free and always will be. We accept no money. We just love Pokemon and creating unique experiences. Press. I'm pressing all sorts of keys. Okay. Good morning. I have some last minute documents I need you to complete for uh, for Trinita University. Turn the volume down just a little bit. Um, for you guys, turn it all down a lot for me. I'm still used as a mouthpiece for the school since I completed my studies there all those years ago. Who are you? First, I need you to create an avatar. Just create one that best expresses your personal style. Okay. Uh, yes, I do be a dude. Yes. Great, that should do fine. Next, I need you to input your name here. Alto? That's really deep hat, huh? Or arrow keys, huh? It's interesting. It's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, no, I, I actually have to type in the game. Okay. Don't. What? Okay. This, this keyboard's a little frustrating, admittedly. So... Pressing down from here takes you down to here, but pressing up from here takes me up there. That's just me mashing up and down. <laughs> anyway, uh, where's the confirm button? That one? No. Oh, down here. Confirm. Thank you for indulging me, Jesse. I bet you're looking forward to your adventure. I am. Be sure to stop by my lab before you skip town. I have something you'll want to see. Ciao. Okay. Presenting a fan made project. Phoenix Rising. I see a whooper. So this is like a diamond and pearl level of graphics, it looks like. Which was about what I was expecting. 
uh, which is significantly better than most Pokemon fan games. So, the colors look really good. Alright, here I be. Hawthorne Woods. Hawthorne is the name of the region in this game. The fan-made region. Have, you ever, have I ever told you why I live in the Hawthorne Woods, Jesse? Most assume, I think, that I longed for a natural setting, to be one with nature. Certainly, the Pokemon here are kind, and the floor is magnificent, yes? I even admit my cooking has greatly improved since I began my hermitage. But I would not live away from society for a pretty view. That would be silly. No, I live here because I find it pure. Out here, I'm able to reflect on my life, to think more clearly than I ever have. When I was your age, finding a thinking place was very simple, a quiet place. That's not so true anymore, yes? Now the world is very, very complicated. This is good to keep in mind. Find a quiet spot to call your own. Think there. Allow yourself time to think on your life, your circumstances. For you see, Jesse, it is when one thinks that one realizes not all is right with the world. Oh, what a windbag I am. Come, let us have our tea before you depart. <clears throat> Press the X key to open your menu. You can access your journal containing your current quests here. Okay, is there a way? There's got to be a way to change the controls, right? The difficulties? Stick with normal. Okay. okay. Press Z T. Okay. I was literally wondering that myself. Come, come. I have a lovely tin of biscuits for you to try. <laughs> okay. Well, what if I want to go up here? Are you having tea? Come inside if you would. Uh, can I talk to this guy? You can find some pretty sweet stuff lying on the ground sometimes. Potions, Pokeballs, even TMs. Oh, do you not know what a TM is? You got some learning to do. <clears throat> a lesson in des- oh, okay. Jesse, I'm so glad you decided to come over one last time. It warms an old man's heart, truly. And on such a momentous day, after Trinita University, you're receiving your first Pokemon, yes? I'll turn on the kettle. Are you nervous about the events to come? You're in capable hands. I'm sure that the good doctor will give you the best of the lot. You know, Professor Lotus met with me before her own journey to your school. Trinita University surely snaps up the best talents of the Hawthorne region. Both of you, or the both of you, the prides of Little Nocturne Town. Though it's a different situation, what with your father and all. My father? Pokemon games aren't supposed to mention fathers. Except for... Ruby and Sapphire. Where is it? I'm sure excited to see him, after so many years apart. And your mother is doing well? Sad to see you go? How perplexing. She's always been hardy, your mother. Never phased by a thing. But to have her only child about to depart from her home must be trying. Why, when my own children took their leave from me, I... I have some bad news, Jesse. I think perhaps there's a possibility. I am out of tea. Oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm going dotty. I didn't even check my own sh my own stores. You know what? I imagine your brother has tea. Your father was a tea fanatic. But I feel terrible asking this. Could you run home and check with her? Without fail, a good cup of tea will calm your anxieties before this journey. You'll run over there, yes? You will? How wonderful. I'll be here waiting for your return. Objective, collect tea. Okay. 
Let's see, anything up here? No. Can I interact with like C or something? Oh, I can. Okay. That's helpful. Okay, I was gonna say reaching up to hit enter every time. It's a bit of a, a bit annoying. Okay, well this seems to be a dead end. I presume the town was up, but I wanted to explore. Nita ran and Nita ran. Interesting. Nocturne Town. Mr. Lotus's house. Hello, Jesse. Nice to see you. I remember when you were yay high. Most everyone in Nocturne Town is getting on in age. Not much is getting, or much, not much is different here from when I was a young girl. All sorts of stuff in here. This is a quite the sizable town. Ho oh, there! You see this map here? It's used for something called fast travel. I'm not sure how it works, but if you interact with it and choose where you want to go, you'll be taken there in an instant. You only fast travel to areas you've been already, however. Me, I prefer to walk. Okay, bye. Oh, the lab, that was a. Uh... <sighs> Something else is prompting me to do. Jesse, uh, hey. You're here early. The prof Professor Lotus said you would be here way later than this. Uh, you remember me, right? I'm Tim. We met, like, twice. No, it, it's no big deal. Um, welcome. You're here for your first Pokemon, right? That's so exciting. We've been getting them ready forever. Should we wait for Professor Lotus? She said she wanted to be here for this, but I've heard from her, f but I haven't heard from her since. Some kind of errand took her out to Tranquilo Town earlier today. Fieldwork has never been my scene, so Lotus left me here to babysit. It's so funny that Lotus does that stuff all the time. She's a hero, sort of. But we actually know her in person, you know. We get to see the real her. Yeah. Um, I'm stalling. Really, I I just don't know when she's getting back. You're not that early. Maybe she's the light one. As, as if. I bet you're dying to see them, huh? Pokemon. They're super cute. Well, maybe I can let you look at them. Before she gets here, a sneak peek. That would be okay, right? I'm not usurping protocol. Yeah, it'll be fine. Come on, let's go take a look. Petalil. This is Petalil, the bulb Pokemon. Cute, right? Real pretty, a grass type. I see a Growlithe over there. They're a female-only species, and they love soil that's rich in nutrients. If you eat their leaves, you'll get a little energy boost. Of course, I've never tried one. Okay, moving on. <laughs> What's the water type in there? Oh, sorry you. This is Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. Don't you love that hair? That shaggy mane? They're a fire type. Growlithe are domesticated Pokemon, and they get really attached to you. Apparently they can smell your emotions. Weird, right? Super noses. Okay, last one. You excited? This is Staryu, my personal favorite. Aren't they cool? I love water types. Me too. They're the star-shaped Pokemon because they're superstars. Plus, they're able to physically regrow their limbs, which is, like, insane. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Now you really want one, huh? Look, why don't you just go ahead and pick one? The professor was going to give you one eventually, right? I could tell her later. I know how exciting it is to own your first Pokemon. I'll be waiting at the front of the lab, so let me know when you've decided. Good luck. No pressure. Well, I've already decided... Uh, sometimes you want to reset the game and reload your save file. Remember to save first or you'll lose progress. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and save. Yes. Wait, hard. Is 
Since when am I on hard difficulty? I'm on normal. Okay. Um, I know that there's decision making in the game, so I don't know if I if I am able to leave in a wait if that'll like affect the game at all. Um, but I'll let you know right now I'm picking Star You, um, because I remember I don't I don't remember a ton from back when this game was originally teased, but um. I know they put in Mega Evolutions. I tried to avoid everything on the website as I was scrolling past. I didn't want to know anything. Um, I wanted to know as little as possible. But I do remember back when I was seeing the news about this game that there was a Mega Starmie that they put in. Like Mega Evolution for Starmie. And I remember thinking it was awesome. I don't remember what it was, but I thought it was... I don't remember what, what the typing was or anything, but I thought it was awesome. It's gonna look like I'm working hard, just in case Lotus arrives. Hey, you're gonna leave after I showed them all to you? Do you hate them or something? Let's pick them out herself. Oh, I have to pick one. Alright, well yeah, I'm doing Star You, because I remember thinking Mega Star Me was awesome. I don't remember why. Oh. You like the water type Star You? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. Ha! Like to give a nickname to Star You? Yeah. Um, we will name Star You. Um, what will we name him? Actually, what was the, um, okay. I don't know if anyone will get this. Oh, I can toggle Pokemon following by pressing control. Sweet. Oh, this is so beautiful. Look, I'm getting a little teary eyed. You're gonna love Trinito University, my alma mater. Especially now that you have a lifelong friend to help you through it. And now, we wait for Professor Lotus to get back from her trip. She still has some things to give you, advice or gadgets or something. I don't think I can let you go exactly without having seen her first. Oh, this is a good lesson. So Tranquilo Town is east of here. It would take Route 1 to get there. It connects Tranquilo to Nocturne. Route 1 is short, and Tranquilo Town is really tiny, smaller than Nocturne. So Professor Lotus won't be long, we just have to wait. <laughs> uh huh. Are you leaving? I, I thought you're gonna help me explain the situation to Lotus, right? Thank you for waiting for me. I appreciate it. Professor Lotus is so talented, but she's also a little scary, right? If you don't think that, since you've known her so long, sorry. You know that I really ex respect her, right? I wasn't, like, trash-talking her. I swear. She's an incredible scientist, researcher. But her standards are crazy, you know? This is really awkward. You can go. No hard feelings. I I'll explain to Lotus. I'll see you later, though. This is really great, yeah? Yeah. Have fun. Bye. Oh. Okay. Um. Is there a shop anywhere here in Shin Megami Tensei Three Town? I didn't see one anywhere. But just in case, I want to check because I want Pokeballs. Nope, nowhere. I have to remember, this isn't a Nuzlocke. I can catch Pokemon whenever I want. Can't believe we're going to the university already. I hope we get a good dorm room, mate. When I get it to Trinita University, I'm gonna join the Battler Guild for sure. Right. Is, is this my house? 
Eve's house. Who's Eve? Hello, potion. <clears throat> ah, dang it. I, hit. I started using Wast again. Oh, is Eve my mother? She doesn't have tea. He didn't check before he invited you over for tea? Well, regardless, he needs tea bags, but I'm not sure we have any ourselves. He really needs to be more responsible, living all alone out there. We both know it's not the first time something has happened like this. Perhaps he could grow his own tea surrounded by all that forest. Not that I don't sympathize with his choice. It's beautiful in those woods. Well, look at that. Tea bags. Not much, but it should be fine for your purposes. You know, I had this crazy thought that your father took all of his tea with him. Maybe not so crazy. If you remember, he did cart away that broken radio. You think he still has it? Neither of us have ever seen his place there. I'm sure you'll see the evidence of his tea addiction at the bachelor pad. And you'll have to tell me if he dusts. He always... He was always a ter or he he was always terrible about that. Here, let me put these in your bag for you. You'll lose them otherwise. A tent? No, tea bags. <laughs> there you are. In the key items pouch. Open the menu and you'll see it there. Now come on, let me see it. I know you stopped by the lab. Oh you picked peach! They're precious. You chose well. <laughs> Do you already know its name? Sounds as if you have to find her out in Tranquilo Town. It's not that far. Obviously, you should run back to the soothsayer. Kept the man waiting. So hop to it. You have your tea bags. Go and finish your meeting. <laughs> no, I was going to see if I could just bolt for... Tranquilo Town without talking back to the old guy. Without going back to the old guy. Oh, duh. I'm back! Hello? Aha. Oh, Jesse, you've returned. I'm glad. Did you hear very much of that when you entered the room? I may have witnessed me experience visions before, yes. The premonition which passed was very powerful. I feel sapped of energy. Glimpses of death. Darkness. Rapid flames engulfing Nocturne Town. Such an ill-omened vision is rare. But one cannot succumb to hysteria. To fixate on the end of the world, it would make it impossible to fully live one's life. Let us drink. I gotta remember to do like an old man voice. D is a fine remedy for such stresses. <laughs> to you, Jesse, and your future travels. May you find success everlasting. This is very nice, Jesse. Thank you. I feel completely refreshed. Be sure to thank your mother for me again. It was a good tea, yes? Now, a final piece of advice. Should you ever question your path, p please return here. I shall put on a kettle. Perhaps a vision will grace me. But surely, together, we can help you to ascertain your next step. Keep up with your studies. Train your Pokemon well. I'm sure I will see you soon. Alright. What's this way? Hey there. Did you know you can hop over these ledges to lower areas? The only problem is have figured out how to climb back up again. Yeah, uh... Before I go... 
launching down there, I want to know how to get back up. Because I don't know where that goes. Does it just go down here? Oh, I bet, yeah, it just takes you down here. Okay. Nothing of note. And I think we're going to leave this episode off here. Let this one run a little long compared to how these typically go for me. Oh, wait, no. Dang it. I can't do... Okay, I'll just do it like this. Typically with the Pokemon following, they face the same direction you were facing. Like, right now he should be facing down, and he wouldn't turn left until I moved any direction now. But, anyway. This is going to be all for this episode. It seems to be getting nighttime. It's a little dim. But thank y'all for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Physic Rising. Phoenix Rising. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.